everyone. My name is Lisa, and this is my channel about stitching. Hope everybody had a nice Christmas. It is, what day is today? Thursday, New Year's Eve day, and it's about, I don't know, 9 o'clock in the morning, and Larry's off working half a day, and so I just decided to do a video while I'm home alone. So, I'm still in my PJs. I have really fun uh, check um, pants. Sorry, couldn't think of what I was trying to say. I've been sitting here this morning going through all my projects and I have had um, Cheetos and a pop for breakfast. So, so far it's been a great day. <laughs> Hope you guys are having fun. So, my plans last year was to be very organized and to keep track of all my whips and all of my finishes, and I didn't do that. And in the process of thinking about a year-end wrap-up type of video, um, or like a whip parade or plans or any of that that we always try to do. I was going to have to watch all of my videos from this year to be able to come up with a number of how many things I've finished and how many things I started with and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's a whole lot of me and I just wasn't, wasn't up to uh, watching all of that today. So... I still will try to get that information compiled at some point when I'm, I don't know, when I'm bored. But I'm just going to start with a, clear, a clean slate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share with you some of my whips, some of the things that I have in progress, and then I will have a better idea. I'm going to think about it today after the video and try to figure out you know, what is something that I do want to try to get finished? I don't usually make a ton of plans. I don't usually have any type of rotation. I just kind of grab whatever speaks to me at the moment. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I feel like if I had more of a plan, I might get more finished. I don't know for sure. All I know is I have a ton of things started. <laughs> And have no idea how many things I finished this year. So that's okay. Now, if you listen with headphones, um, this could be kind of a, a noisy kind of thing. Because my intention was, well, I should pull everything out of the bag and just have the stitched piece and the cover page. And, you know, but not all of my threads are marked. And you know how I am with not writing down what color changes I've made. So I could just visualize that being a huge mistake. <laughs> so if you have headphones on, you're just going to have to turn the volume down a little bit so that the crinkling won't drive you nuts. All right, I, I pulled out the basket that I don't go to very often. Um or that I haven't gone to recently. So a few of these I don't think I will continue. I'm not sure, I haven't decided. Like I said, that will happen um, after I finish the video. Let's get going, right? Quit rattling on and on and on. I ate Cheetos and now my tongue is orange. <laughs> Bummer. Okay, so. <laughs> I am almost finished with this one, so I feel like it needs to go in a pile to kind of uh, focus on a little bit. It's called Liberty House by Brenda Gervais, and this is one that I had started on a 28 count, and then it was just going to be too big. And so I decided to restart it on 28 count over one. So super pretty. I just love it. Tiny, <laughs> super tiny, but very pretty. So 
like I said, I mean, I am almost finished with it. I got to finish a few more leaves to the eagle and a few more letters and boom, it'll be done. So I think that's going to go in a priority pile. And because uh, I really do, I want to focus on some of the easy ones and see if I can get some finishes right off the gate and see if that will set me up for a good year. <laughs> okay, so I have another one that was a gift from Loretta and it's Halloween Season of the Witches. She found this at our thrift store. <laughs> and so it was a kit, but I just decided to use some of my fabric and that's like a mania start so like hardly anything I think that's actually I think that's actually the bottom of her dress so I guess it goes this way but anyway and I kept telling myself oh I should you know count everything and see how many you guys don't care how many I have we're just going to show you some stuff and see if maybe you have some of these in your stash and you want to pull them out. Who knows? Now, this was a freebie off Pinterest, so I don't even have a picture of it. It's just like a little log home. Uh, I want to say maybe it's Live Simply, but I'm not even positive about that. Moving on. <laughs> I know I'm not going to finish that. This one is Home for Christmas by Plum Street. And this is how much I have done. I believe that was a mania start this year. This one is another freebie I got off of Pinterest. And of course, the only copy I have of it is on my phone. But see, this would keep me in compliance with a red sampler. So I should get that one out. Let's see what I was using. I used DMC 816 on that. This is still the bag from uh, Grateful, Thankful, Blessed, which I did get finished. So at least I had one finish <laughs> in 2019. So I can take all those threads apart and put them back on my stash. Okay, I have Basket Full of Summertime. And this will be the last one I have to finish the series. And I believe it's almost finished. I have to finish part of the house. Looks like I need to put her head and feet on. <laughs> and do some of the flowers at the bottom. I think that's it. Anyway, I have a really pretty frame that those all go in. So I think I'll put that in my priority pile too. Okay, so this was a mania start, and I just kind of stalled out on it. It is Threadwork Primitives Winter Peacocks. It's supposed to be like a needle. Is it a needle roll? Needle. Pin sheep. I don't even know what, what the heck is it. I don't know. <laughs> so, I got started on it. And that's about as far as I got. Because I wasn't using the variegated floss. I was just going to try to do DMC and try to blend it. And uh, come up with the same look as Fancy Floss. Which turned out to be more of a process than I wanted it to be. Considering I only use one strand. So it's hard to blend with one. So... Kind of got stalled out with that one. Not too excited about that, but maybe that will increase. I have um, Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird. 
and this is how much I have so far and I changed the colors it was more of a blue gray for the stones and I wanted it to be more of a brown and tan but anyway I kind of was going strong on that for a while and then I don't know must have had a squirrel moment and All right, so this one is one I was working on last night. This is uh, Stacy Nash House of Fairy Chapel Road, and it's Miss Baxter's house. And I was working on it a little bit last night. Sorry, I'm about to lose my needle here in just a second. <laughs> oh, and speaking of needles. So I was working on 40 count a while back. I was gifted um, by Shannon some um, a gift certificate to my LNS. And so I had bought 40 count for the first time. And I was kind of struggling with it a little bit. I couldn't I couldn't do the sewing method very very well. And so I was asking, you know, everybody what their opinions were on the best needle. And so they told me 28. And so um Another friend, Christy, gave me um, a birthday gift certificate, and so I bought some 28s. Now, this is like a 30, I think it's a 36 count, so it, it kind of falls through the holes on this one because it's kind of a, the holes are big on this one, but I haven't been able to try it on the 40 count yet, but I'm excited, but anyway... I noticed that I, I lose my needle pretty easily, so I gotta take care of that. No, oh, my luck, I'd step on it. Okay, so anyway, back to this. So I had started in the top left-hand corner. <laughs> Left. <laughs> oh, another moment I wish I could edit. Oh, but on that front, um, Larry got me an external hard drive, so I should be able to clear out most of the stuff in my laptop, and I should be able to learn to edit. So, ha ha ha, new year, new goal. Isn't that pretty? Oh, shoot, I just love it. So, I am not using the called for colors. I actually just grabbed um, the threads that were called for for um, Noel Sampler because I had been working on it when I decided to start this one and I couldn't find a green in any of my um, unkitted up things and so in that pile everything was in a kit so or in a project bag so I decided to just use the colors from that so so far I've just picked the three colors I used um, a green and the pinkish salmon color, and I used like a beige color. So I haven't picked any other colors so far. I'm just kind of winging it. And I, I think I'm just going to try to do the border first. I was going to try working on this little bee skep first before I finish the border, but I think this might be a good momentum thing to keep going on the border because I'm really in a rhythm with it. I don't really have to think about it. And uh, and let's face it, if I don't have to think about something, it's a good plan. <laughs> so that's that one. And so then in the same project bag, since I'm using the same thread, I have the Noel Sampler in there too by Brenda Gervais. I worked on it a little bit on Christmas. So let's see. I believe the last time um, I think the last time I was just like up here on the border. And so I went to the corner and all the way down and they matched up pretty well. I had to I had to fudge it like two stitches here and two stitches down here, but I don't think anything that's going to matter in the grand scheme of things. Then I did the little box, put my LA in there, 
and then I worked a little bit on the people. So loving that one too. But like I said, since I haven't been very good about writing down my threads, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to improve that next year. Somebody remind me of that. <laughs> so I when I was even just working on on that Miss Baxter's house, um, there's quite a few colors in that Noel sampler that are kind of close. There's like three beiges in there. So anyway, I had to keep looking at it to see which one I had used. And I thought, just write it down. So I did. I've got the three colors so far written down on there. <laughs> ah, I make things so hard on myself. I'm getting older I better stop you know I can't trust this thing to work <laughs> okay that wasn't positive my brain works okay <laughs> okay now this one is in the way back I started this on mania I think maybe two years ago this is a, a jar, jardin privé and it's history of sheep and there's like, uh, I think, four sections to it. So anyway, and I was going gangbusters on it. And I don't know. To tell you the truth, I, I was kind of afraid it was going to be bigger than it really is. Um, so let's see. This is how much I've done. And when I look at it, I, I'm at the bottom on this side. So this is how, how high it will be. <laughs> and I think there's just one more section over here. But anyway, I just love sheep. And so I thought... Oh, that might be cute. Like maybe in my half, in my master bathroom or something, I could have like a sheep wall. I think that'd be kind of cute. I almost have the start of it now. I have uh, one of my pieces by um, Little Creek Needleworks, the wool. And then I have the Sabrosa pattern that says, have you any wool? So, I mean, I feel like I, it might work over there or, you know, have kind of a theme going. We'll see. I have it in one of my original project bags that I tried to make. Of course, I've got thread stuck in the zipper. And it's not near as bright. It's actually a really pretty fabric, but that looks kind of kind of crazy there. Okay. Moving on. Oh, we're at 18 minutes. I probably ought to kick it in the butt. <laughs> so, I was working on a Blackbird Spell of the Moon. And so, I messed up and I started using the wrong color for the trunk of the tree. So, anyhow, either I'm going to have to go over that every other stitch or something with black to try to blend that in, or I just have to pull it out. Ugh. And you know how I feel about pulling things out, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to blend it somehow. <laughs> because I feel like the way I had been doing it, I was going in rows, and so that's going to entail like taking out some of the border too and it's like yeah I don't want to do all that all right what's in here oh I was looking for this <laughs> so this was one of the things when my mom was um was so bad after she had her stroke, I wasn't really stitching much. And then finally I got to the point where it's like, okay, I'm going to lose my mind if I don't do something that's going to make me stop thinking about life and just 
So this was a freebie by um, Not Forgotten Farm, and it was Be Calm, which I thought was very fitting. So, but um, it's just on my phone. So anyway, I was wondering, I've been looking for that, and I couldn't find it. So here it is. There's not much more to do on that. There's like a little basket, I think, maybe a couple more bees. Okay. Then we have one that I think I'm either going to restart it or I don't know. We'll see. Um, careful, Marshall. Stay back. So this is a Chessie and Me, and it is Autumn Harvest. Sorry for the glare. I had to use my little tripod and light because... Um, my house is kind of dark right now with it being kind of a gloomy day. and uh, But I'm about ready to take down my Christmas decorations, so I thought, well. All right, so this fabric, is a, it's just an Ada. And I don't have my glasses on, but I'm thinking it's like a 20, it's 22 account. 18, 20. I don't know. It's tiny. <laughs> so... I, it was a mania start, and I decided to start down here in the grass. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not real sure. I don't have a whole lot of momentum in that one. So probably just push it to the back of the pile. <laughs> okay, then I have a Plum Street, Peace, Love, and Purpose. I love the colors in this. It's fancy floss, and you know me, I'm cheap. And so I was just going to use DMC and just try to come up with something, blah, 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 blah. But, um, and I'm also using uh, 28 count Lugana and I'm doing it over one. But the more I think about it, I, I want it to be the color that's in the picture. <laughs> so I am going to spring for the fancy floss. Um this blue color I just I just think it's so pretty and that's that's what drew me to the pattern that and the quilt blocks so I just you know whatever I just need to do it so and I feel like when I was at my LNS I looked at that but it didn't look like the same color as in the picture it's called dolphin so I'd be interested to know anybody's thoughts on dolphin. Is it something that's uh, like the newer dye lots are a different shade or something? I don't know. Okay, so we've got an empty project bag. <laughs> oh, okay, this one is um, Rabbit Hollow Farm Sampler by Stacy Nash. This is the one where I always call the rabbits at the bottom sheep. <laughs> okay, and so I really haven't done hardly anything on this, I don't think. Um, since the last time I showed it. This is basically the bottom of the piece, and then it goes over. And I think I'm more than, yeah, I just have to do the border on the other side. It's because it basically stops right here and the border starts. So, it's so pretty though. I need to move it into the pile. Yeah, of, get moving on it. It's pretty. I really feel like if I could get some of these big things up, I could have a nice little wall of stitching going. <laughs> hmm. Okay, and so then this one is Plum Street, A Gentleman's Daughter. And so I messed up on the window panes. So I have to I have to figure out how I'm going to fudge that. So that kind of stalled me out on that one. 
but I need to just do it because I love that one and I can't wait to get to the bottom of the grass down there with those sheep. See, that's another one. It could be my sheep wall. <laughs> okay. Um, I also have this one. Let's see my cover page for it though. It is called Bless Our Home. That's always scary when I can't find my cover page. So, let's see. I can't see what I'm showing you. <laughs> there we go. So this one I'm changing the colors on, of course. So, I don't know, I might be like halfway through there. There's a pretty good sized house that I couldn't decide what color I wanted to do. And whatever. Okay, so then I have a la -dee da witch witch. This was gifted to me. And so this is my progress so far. I couldn't, just couldn't decide where I wanted to proceed on it. I'm at the, the very top of her dress, so. And that seemed like a lot of uh, intricate counting or whatever. So. I don't know. It was late, so I thought, well, maybe I'll be of clear mind when I start the top of her dress so I don't have to fudge my way through it the whole way. <laughs> oh, and another... I have three empty project bags. What the heck? And I have all kinds of Ziploc bags all over the place. So I have my cute little notebook that I had done. This was a freebie um, off Pinterest. And I just used one of those um, composition notebooks. Anyway, this is where I'm going to be keeping a few of my notes. And then my friend Loretta got me a calendar. So I'm hoping to stay motivated. I want to make some goals of as far as like some cards I want to send out. It's going to be a good year. 2021 is going to be good. We're going to make it good. We are going to make it good. Okay, so I worked on a Blackbird design, which is American Eagle. Every time I'd see this one finished, I would just be like, oh, that's so pretty. So... Mine's coming along. I started working on the house around Christmas time. Uh, so I'm like, I don't know, to the top of the door. So pretty good. I just have to do the eagle and a couple little whatnots. So love that one. And then I worked a little bit on this one over the last week or two. This is called, it's a Silver, Silver Creek Samplers, Liberty Hill. And I'm just using my own colors. And I also um, looked at Priscilla's finish because this one kind of has like a pink roof, like a salmon color. Anyway, I just wasn't feeling that color, but yet it's not a bright, bright red either. It's more of a pinky red. But yeah, I borrowed, um, I looked at Priscilla's finish and kind of used uh, the colors that, I don't know how to, how to put that. I mean, I didn't use her actual colors, but I used a shade of the color that she used. Jeez. Okay, I have A Winter Welcome by A Country Winter <laughs> by Plum Street. This one I'm doing on a little piece of Ada that I had. And I'm doing it over one. Well, yeah, that's what you do on Ada. <laughs> I think it's like a 20 or a 22 count. I don't know, it's 22 a count. It's tiny. I haven't worked on that much lately at all. And then 
this one I am going to restart because I'm not excited about the coverage. Um, this is Plum Street, Sweetheart Hill. And I did it on just some tea dyed fabric. And I don't like the coverage. So I'm going, and I want it to be smaller, I think. Even though this looks like it's a 36 count. I don't know. That'll be in the I don't know pile. <sighs> okay. All right, we're almost there. You guys still awake? <laughs> so this is my count, my project on 40 count, which I should leave out today, and I should try to mess around with it with my new needle. So this is, boy, I was on a Plum Street kick there for a while. A Shepherd song. And so this is my progress so far. So I need to get that out and see um, if that size needle will help me a little bit. Uh, I found that on that size, all I could do was just the poke and stab method. I wasn't able to really um, do the sewing method, which I really enjoy doing. So, oh, this one is just a kitted up one. I haven't started it yet. So, I have a Bittersweet September by Plum Street. I kind of feel like this one might be, oh no, I still have all the over one to do. <laughs> I didn't realize, realize when I bought this that all the alphabet was over one. Or I probably wouldn't have purchased this, but anyway, it'll be cute. Just need to do it, right? Okay, so this is a heartstring sampler, heartstring samplery pattern, pincushion street, and I love that that like tealy blue color house too. I don't know. And all I've done is just a little bit of the wording and the roof. I think I need to work down towards something fun because I'm already getting kind of stalled out on that one. <laughs> I need to get some, some exciting stuff in there. Okay, and then I have a Stacy Nash um, Summer at Hollyberry Farm. And I, this is a goal. I definitely want to get this one done. I think maybe I should do it by the 4th of July, don't you think? I think that would be a good plan. So, now, something that I thought would be a fun thing that didn't really turn out as cute as I thought. So, the house just has some, you know, it looks like kind of shingles kind of thing. Doesn't look like there's much rhyme or reason to it. So I thought, well, I'll try to do something on my own. And so far, I'm not loving it. I don't know that I'm hating it either, so I might be able to just finish. I don't know. We'll see. That's a lot of ripping out, so I don't know what I'll do. But yeah, I'm pretty much to the bottom on that side, so I'm going to go down this side and then across the bottom and see how I meet up. But there's not a, well, yeah, there is. There's a ton of the house. But other than the house and the little border, there's not a whole lot. There's just a couple little motifs. So I feel like I should have that be a goal for by, I want to have it on the wall by the 4th of July. Doesn't that sound like a good plan? I think I should try for that. Okay, so we've got two in this bag. Both of them are by Not Forgotten Farm. One of them is Springtime or Spring Farmhouse, which I should set this aside and have it be one that I focus on so that maybe in the spring it'll be done. I just have some flowers to do at the bottom of it and it'll be finished. So, there's that one. And then I also have Sepia Sampler by Not Forgotten Farm, which I just kind of picked my own. 
color scheme. I actually use the same threads from Spring Farmhouse, so it's actually her color scheme for another one. <laughs> anyway, just have a little house to do on that one. Okay. Well, I think I might be to the bottom. Now there's probably something somewhere that I don't I don't have here, but for the majority of it, that's these are my whips. So I have Summer at Cherry Hill, and this is probably one of my oldest whips that I've showed today. And it is super close to being finished. Well, maybe not super close, but I mean, I just need to, I just need to finish it. It is so pretty. So it's so thin. I had to put something behind it or else my window would show too bad. But so basically I have to do the girl, which let's face it is not the easiest part of this pattern. <laughs> But I feel like once I get in the rhythm of the dress, it would probably be okay. Then I just have to do the grass. I mean, a few little whatnots here or there, but I mean, this, this is pretty, pretty close to being done. I need to get on it. So I'll put this in a pile, my focus pile also. Okay. Oh, and then I do have one more. I don't I don't have the cover picture here, but this is a Quaker Welcome by Lila Studios. And um hers was um all the Quaker motifs were all in black, but I've uh tried to add a little bit of color here or there. So Anyway, so that pretty much sums up my whips that I have. But yeah, that's a lot. That's probably, you know, some of my friends who don't like to uh, have more than one project going at a time are probably having some heart palpitations. But it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I go by the school of thought. I've already purchased all the stuff, right? So... What's it matter if I've started it or I haven't started it? I mean, I've still flipped the switch on it and I purchased it all, so might as well have fun. Speaking of purchases, I went to the thrift store the other day and I was going through the crafts because they have like a whole section of this crafts and they have um, all their fabric pretty much is $2 a yard. <coughs> Excuse me. And they have really great fabric. It's, you know, it's always hit or miss. You never know what they're going to have. And so a lot of times anything I like, I buy, whether I, I know what I'm going to do with it or not, just because it's there and it's $2 a yard. And sometimes you can get like five yard pieces. I mean, that's so anyway, but I was going through the craft section and I just saw out of like the edge of a bag, I saw some wool strips and I'm like oh. <laughs> so anyway so I hurried and backed up and went back and looked and here it's a complete kit it came with the hook which was the most exciting part of it um what does that say on this anyhow I can't read it I don't have my glasses on but anyway so I, I got the new hook which was great because my old hook had been my grandmother's and Marshall chewed it up. And so every time I use it, I mean, I just, my hand goes, uh, gets raw because I mean, it's literally jagged. So it had a, a hoop, which, you know, I wouldn't use, I would use my regular frame. And then it also had, um, like a flag and then it had, the wool strips already cut for it but like the colors are like so crazy 
but they'd still work good for like another rug but I just can't visualize them all together as a flag but overall I mean I was super excited it even had the instructions and everything and I want you to just throw out some guesses on how much you think this kit was and I'll tell you next time you guys will be blown away I don't think I could wait till next time it was a dollar at my thrift store a dollar hot dog so and like I say I don't I, I was just mainly excited about the hook because I needed one why, I don't know, because I haven't done any rug hooking in probably a year. But I needed it, you know. Oh, while I was going through there, I did find some new, or some charts that I haven't started yet. That one's cute. Humble and kind. Okay. I did want to acknowledge I had some happy mail. Um... And I have to get those patterns that I got. Yeah. So, um, I think it was Monday. I got in the mail a card from Cindy, from Cindy Stitches on Instagram. And she got me some Exude um, floss. It is uh, Mariska's Red. Mariska? Pretty. It's, it has a lot of variegation. And a really pretty counting pin. So, super excited about that. Thank you, Cindy. That was nice. And let me pause because I left that where I was going to video originally. So, just a second. Okay, sorry. Originally, I was going to do my video over there. And so, I had my birthday present over there. So, uh, Christy um, from Daisy K Primitives. We're, we're pretty close on um, chatting back and forth on Instagram. And so she sent me a gift card to Hollis Hands Creates. And so I was able to get my size 28 needles that I talked about. I picked out a little pair of scissors that has a holly on it. And I got Kringle and Woolard by Plum Street. And then I got... Uh, Scissors by Shakespeare's Peddler. So, pretty excited about those. Excited to start them. Um, I didn't do a Christmas start and I didn't do a birthday start. Um, just mainly because I kidding up things is not my favorite part of the stitching thing. And so, I just put off going in there to find the right fabric and everything. But, um... I do want to have a new start for tomorrow, so on New Year's Day. And I'm thinking I might just do something simple like um, that Mary and Minty by Brenda Gervais. Because I don't think I'd have to, you know, really think too hard on, you know, the colors and the fabric that I want to use. And I don't know that it really matters what size it turns out. So I think that might be my no-brainer type thing because I, I just was so excited when she offered that. And I meant to start it along, but then I got late uh, to the game. So anyway, thank you for st sticking with me. I think, oh my goodness, I'm at 43 minutes. And if this thing doesn't upload, I'm going to be so upset. It might be a crash course in editing because I'm not going through all those whips again for sure. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to wrap it up real quick. So hopefully I, I don't run out of time, but. Hope you all have a wonderful New Year's. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending a whole year with me and for supporting me through so many hard things this year as we've all had a hard 2020. I just pray for all of you for 2021 that we will have a healthy and a happy year. And I've just come to the conclusion there's a lot of things that are out of our control but there's a lot of things that are in our control and I'm going to try to be better and I'm going to try to lift people up when I can. And I don't even know where that weepy part came from, but <laughs> anyhow, 
I feel like if we all just really try our best and just try to keep each other lifted up in prayer and in our spirits, um, if you see somebody's down or if you think about them, send them a text on Instagram. Do something and uh, it'll be a better year. Okay. You guys have a wonderful day. You stay safe and hopefully I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.